gathered here to launch our second cohort of uh, scholarship uh, beneficiaries, the last uh, scholarship beneficiary being last year, where we awarded uh, close to 450 scholarship beneficiaries. This year, uh, we've uh, targeted also 400 uh, beneficiaries. The process was very vigorous and uh, uh, we tried to our uh, very best to make sure that it's free and fair. Today, I have the pleasure to bring to you the dream of His Excellency, the Governor of Bungoma, the dream of the children of this county and their education. In total, 865 applicants were received. Out of this, 366 were girls and 499 were boys. After the rating at the world level and the assessment at the county level, we have a minimum of eight students per ward who will receive the scholarship. My father is mentally sick since 2008 and stays in Madan. Um, my mother died in 2013 when I was in class 3. I'm a sickle cell carrier and I'm just okay. I passed my exams. I'm going to Lugulu Girls and I'm going to be great one day. I'm going to be a very big doctor. My name is Isaiah Jumoskuta. I learned in Bungoma DB. I performed um, exemplary well. I got 427. I was admitted to French school Kamsinga which was my dream school. My parents are both deaf and dumb. They are jobless. My father had uh, actually get an accident um, in 2000 and I think so 16, which made him be bedridden. He broke his ribs, two ribs. So that made him difficult to get a job. My mother yeah, got, got an accident. He had a, a bone structure, I think, leg structure. Then that's why I stopped going to work because we had head pains. We are a school governor, Sana. Ungo amne miche am saidi endele shikamu mingi. Love Pia. When I grow up, I will also touch other people's lives. Kwa madina mi neto hawa ni lima. Mimi mukaji wa chwele. Apa mimi chwele na dili kana kama mukaji wa apa. Tunikikuja hii chweli, nikuja kama ningali mtoto mdogo na nikaanza kufanya kazi ya ba. Nikaanza kufanya kazi ya ba, nikuja nikadaraliwa na kila mtu. Yani kama wanawake, ya suwa sana wanawake. Juu kitoka hapo pengine, umefanya kazi ya ba pengine mtu ya meona mbwanaka, mekuja tuwa pata, akapira, atakaitia sodo ukamsafu. Uwezu kuwa na amani na hao watu. Ndiyo mbana nimefanya yu kazi na miliongo lango nikuwa tukusomesha watoto. Jumi mwenyeo sii kusoma. Nikasema wacha nijaripu baati kama nisasomesha watoto. Siku moja pia wazija wakafanya kazi minafa. Kazi minafanya. Muda siyo muda nikuwa na dani. Ana mimi mtu nafanya kazi ya baku. Kuna mtu anantambua kama hawa. Hata yaani mtu anantambua kama ni mtu. Kina kasema wacha nioni. Juhu tumepitia kwa timtashiri mingi. Mtu aneza kudanganya na kupea pasa resikuti. Nata siku anajua kwa kavana. Nilishuka paka stage, nikaenda, nikauliza kwa kaba ni wapi. Kwa kandereke nikasema apana, wacha nichukue pikipiki, inipeleke paka huko ndo waka nipeleka pale. Tukapata watu wa mejia, wakasema tusimame nje ya geti. Wakaita jina ya mtoto wangu, tukaingia hapo ndani. Siyani, hata si kuwa najua kiti nilena, si kuwa na minu kuwa na dani pengini, tunena, 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 tunena. Hakili yangi likuwa tu mimi lazima, tatembatu juu mimi ni malaya tu sasa. Watu wanasema tu sasa uwe ya mekuja nini. 
sisi tukafika hapo ndani namba za watoto zikachukuliwa tukafanya kila kitu tukakaa tukaona mheshimiwa na awakataja majina ya watoto kama na akasema anaenda kupea watoto pesa na mimi nikashukuru juu si kwa najua hiyo kitu inafanyika kwa maisha yangu yote nimekaa hii chwele kuanzia 207 sijawaiona kitu kama hiyo kwa maisha yangu na kama na akasema mtoto mwenye amepita vizuri anaenda kulipiwa miaka ine yote sasa mimi napigia kama na santi juu amenitoa shimoni kabisa juu alisema atalipia, atalipia mtoto wangu scholarship miaka ine akifanya mzuri tena atamlipia park university watoto wangu wote wasije wakachekwa vile mimi ninachekwa anga ni mimi ni malaya nafanya kazi ya ba sitaki tena sasa saa hizi pia mimi binadamu mimi pia ni mwanamke kama hao nimekaa maisha yangu saa hii hapa nametoa kwa shida ya school fees saa hii pesa ningelipa huko ndio sasa saa hizi nilifungulia hii kazi niliyoendelea na maisha yangu nilipata scholarship ya mtoto nikasema kitu ina kitu iko wacha nitafute mahali padogo niweke kazi alafu nikishamaliza kazi niende kwangu ndio nikajenga nyumba mabati 16 ndio nikasema wacha nikuje hapa nianze maisha juu kama na penye amenitoa sasa ameniweka kwa umati ya watu hata saizi mimi nikitembea at least wanasasema sasa ni fulani ndio maana nikasema wacha nianze maisha mengine nione utafika wapi Nikapigiwa simu atumtotoka kusababu because we didn't expect just a boda boda nobody knows you na siku hizi Kenya tunajua it's all about kujulikana me in fact as we have never met the governor huwa tunasikia tu ama tunamuona kwa gazeti maybe ukipita somewhere you find a gazeti or a television there ndio utaona sura yake but we have never met him we don't know any any person from those levels hatujui mtu uko kwa county we are just there hatuna mtu wa kuongelesha huko juu Tuli apply to a simple people and we are just trying our luck. Leo tumeamka asubuhi na mtarisha aende shule tumemnunulia kila kitu. Governor amepea mtoto school fees, alinipa pesa nikaenda nikamnunulia nikamfanyia shopping. Kuna pesa yenye nimebaki naye na naenda kulipa uniform. Leo niko na furaha kwa sababu vile niko na join Cardinal nitasoma hadi form 4. Sita sitakuwa nikifukuza fees ukirudi uko mambi nasema tu asante ati kiwezekana anifundisha hadi university alafu na promise kuwa card so that i can achieve my goals
and the bigger dream about this scholarship ni kuwezesha watoto wenye wazazi hawajiwezi wapate nafasi ya kwenda shuleni pia wapate nafasi ya kupeleka watoto wao shuleni kama sisi wazazi wenye kinajiwezi that is what we stand for just touching a life the way we are doing it today